Hey there, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you two different ways to copy a list. And you might need to do this if let's say you want to modify a list but you need to keep a copy of the original values. Here's how you can do something like that. And there's two ways. So the first requires us to understand slicing and it works very similar to the way it works with strings except that it's going to return a list. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So here's an example. We could say print my favorite things, and inside the, the square brackets, we could say we want to start at index one, and go up to it, but not including index two. We have a pretty tiny list here, so I'm keeping my numbers pretty small. So that's gonna start here and go up to number index two, so it's just gonna return seven. But the thing is, it's within a list. See the square brackets? So what if we got rid of the beginning and the end, and now it just does the whole thing? Well, there you go, you just made a copy of this list. And you can do something with it. So for example, instead of printing it, we could assign it to a variable. So we'll just say copy and assign it that right there. And now we can print copy. And there you go. And this is pretty cool because if we go in here and we change copy, copy index zero is now going to be walking. And then let's say we print these two things. We say my favorite things and copy. Running this, you can see that the first one remains working out, but the new one is now walking. So they're two separate objects, and one change in one doesn't affect the other. And what I just said is important to realize, these are two separate objects. And the reason it's important is because you might think to just do this. Instead of doing this, you just assign my favorite things to copy, and then we modify copy. And look, when we run this, the changes is actually in both of them. Walking is here and walking is there. So we're not making a copy right here, we're just making an alias. Copy is an example of an alias. It's a new name to refer to the same object in memory. So changing it actually changes my favorite things and copy because they're the same thing. So you need to make sure you copy the list when you want to make changes and not affect both of them. So that is how you do that there. And another one, it's actually probably simpler. You just say dot copy, like so, and put parentheses. So that is the other way to do it. And now we can change walking in one of them, and it is only available through copy and not in the original. So this is also an interesting time to point out that this function is attached to this object with a dot. So this is called the dot operator, and it's how we can grab functions for a particular object. So it's a little bit different than putting the function at the beginning and passing my favorite things into it. Such as what we're doing with print, we say print and then we pass an object into it. In this situation we have the object and then dot and then the function name. So it's a little bit different on syntax of calling them, but they work pretty much the same way and we will see both variations throughout this series. So that is how to copy a list, but the thing you need to know is that this is a shallow copy of the list. And if you're wondering what that means, you can check out the next video because that is what it's going to be about. See you then.